know that it now it is 1030. You can see that little hand is on the 10, and that big hand is down here on the 6. That's how we know it's 1030, and it's your music time. Now, for everybody that don't know me, my name is Mr. Holder, and this is our music time together here today. I want to welcome all my Unison Smith, Lovejoy, Lewis and Clark, you know, every school beyond that might be joining us for our music time today. So welcome. Welcome to my kitchen here. Hopefully we'll have a good day today. I've got lots of stuff planned for us to do. If you don't mind me, I'll look down every once in a while because I made sure that I wrote everything down so we could get through it at a great time. If you didn't know, I teach uh, K2 music, and that's probably what our focus would be on is for kindergarten through second grade, but all are welcome to enjoy some music time with us. If you would, just post at the bottom where you're watching from, um, or a little comment to say hello, and I'll try and get back every day with those people. Also, if after our lesson today, you want to go back and you want to uh, watch and rewatch the lesson and maybe your child learns a song and wants to record themselves singing a song along with this or along with one of the links I posted, post it up here. We'll put it and we'll share and we'll just have a great musical experience. All right. Um, one thing I did want to talk about, there's a website called Music Play Online that's actually giving a free subscription until school comes back with all kinds of music related songs and activities that you can do with your child. And the login name is Snow and the password is 2020. I'll post a link after we're done today, but if your child wants to do some more songs, have some mu more musical experiences, we can do that by the Music Play Online website. And I'll keep you up to date with other websites that might be going on or happening at that same time, so I'll keep you up. But today, let's get started. For those people that know this song, join right in. If you don't know the song yet, it takes a while and we'll, we'll get it because we have some time together. But I want today to do nothing. And you guys know what I'm talking about. It goes like this. We're doing nothing. We're doing nothing. 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 Well, we can't do nothing all day. So we better do something. We better do something, we better do something, 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 something. We'll do some music, we'll do some music, 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 music. Maybe we'll catch a leprechaun, we'll catch a leprechaun, and we'll put him down in an old shoe box. I've been trying to catch a leprechaun for over 20 years. I try and try and try, but I never have caught one yet. But you can see I'm wearing my green today. I know yesterday was St. Patrick's Day, but still today, I wanted to make sure that we wore green and so we can talk about our leprechauns. I have a couple songs about little leprechauns, and hopefully you can join in with the song. It goes like this. I'm a little leprechaun, I'm dressed all in green. I'm the tiniest man that you have ever seen. If you ever catch me, so it's told, I'll give to you my pot of gold. Ooh, all that gold from that little leprechaun. Let's sing it one more time. Here we go. <laughs> well, I'm a little leprechaun. I'm dressed all in green. I'm the tiniest man that you have ever seen. If you ever catch me, so it's told, I'll give to you my pot of gold. All right, I'll sing them one more. Well, I'm not going to sing it. I'll mouth along the words with you this next time, but I want you to sing it at home. Sing it to your mom, grandma, grandpa, who's ever with you today. Here we go. I'll mouth those words with you. Mom and Dad, if you want to post your child uh, singing that little song with you, just post it up here later on today. I'll appreciate it. I'll take a look at it. One more leprechaun song for today. <clears throat> this one 
this one goes like this. I saw a leprechaun yesterday. Well, I saw a leprechaun. Oh, I'm in the wrong key. I'm sorry, guys. I better try that one again. Well, I saw a leprechaun yesterday. Well, I saw a It's been a while since I sang this one, so I need to play it right on the ukulele, but I got it now. We're all right. So what I want you to do is when I sing, well, I saw a leprechaun yesterday. You do that clapping method, but with your hands, please. Well, I saw a leprechaun yesterday. All right, let's try it. Here we go. Well, I saw a leprechaun yesterday. Well, I saw him yesterday, and he was going on his way, and with the twinkle in his eye, he said, Good day! Good. Can you do that good day with me? Good day! Just like a little leprechaun would do. One more time together. Let's try it. Well, I saw a leprechaun yesterday. Well, I saw a leprechaun yesterday. Well, I saw him yesterday, and he was on his merry way. With the twinkle in his eye, he said, good day. Nice, nice leprechaun song today. Awesome. Let's see what we got next. Ooh, today, since I'm not in class with any of you, anybody has a birthday out there, I'd like to sing happy birthday to all of our friends out there. So let's try it. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to my friends. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to all those people. Now, a good little tip for all of you is as we wash our hands, you can sing happy birthday. It's pretty good if we sing it twice when we wash our hands. We can sing happy birthday so we know that we've washed our hands in the right amount of time. So today, while I play the ukulele, you guys wash your hands really good as we sing happy birthday. All right, here we go. Happy birthday to you. cha-cha-cha, man, don't we? Hope you washed your hands real good as we sang that. Just remember, that's a good little tip for all of us. All right. I want to show you a little instrument today that maybe not everybody's got the chance to see before. This is called my slide whistle. Whoa, cool, huh? Let me put some air in it. Let's hear how it sounds. That sounds pretty neat, doesn't it? So if you at home want to put up your little pretend side whistle, just like this, you can do those sounds right after me. So let me do it once on this. Now I'm going to do it with my voice. So I'm going to do it on my side whistle. You do it back to me. our voice to sound like that. Now, if I had this up here, we could use this with my slide whistle, and we could figure out how to make the sound. So I see it starts real high up here. It goes, Ooh. see if I can try it on my slide whistle. Nice. Let me show you another one. Let's see this one on the top. I see it starts up high and then it goes low and then it goes high and then it goes low. So it'd have to be <laughs> sounds like a roller coaster for me. So if I would do it on my slide whistle, we could do it. 
Nice. Now my favorite down here. This is the one I like to call the roller coaster. So we can start all the way down here at the bottom and we can go all the way up to the top and then all the way back down. So to go Awesome. Well, you can do those with me today. You can do your own at home too. Just remember, you don't have to have a slide whistle. You can do it yourself. Just imagine. You can have your own. Good. We'll move on to one of my songs that I always do in class. And I bet you guys would probably even know it. You bet you're saying out there, oh, he's going to do Down by the Bay. You got it. If you don't know the song yet, that's okay. We can learn it together. But it goes like this. Down by the bay. sing the first part that's my turn then i'm gonna have you guys sing back to me then it's your turn down by the bay where the watermelons grow back to my home i dare not go or if i do my mother will say, my mother will say. Let's do a few things. All right, you gotta sing with me this time. Remember when your part is. Here we go. Down by the bay. Just listen and then you can get it here in just a few tries. One 
sunshine's taken away today. It's been all gloomy and rainy outside. Well, that's okay. We can still have fun because I have the perfect little song about rain. And this happened to me last night. It goes like this. It's rain. It's pouring. Holder pinched his nose so he would stop his snoring. Ooh, I wondered why my nose was so sore today. My goodness. But maybe somebody that you know might snore a little bit. Maybe it's grandma or grandpa or even mom or dad. But let's try grandpa. It's raining. It's snoring. Uh, raining, snoring. It's raining. It's pouring. Let me try that again. It's raining. It's pouring, Grandpa is snoring. Grandma went to pinch his nose so he would stop his snoring. Oh my goodness. Well, my nose is a little sore today, but I'm wearing green, so nobody's going to pinch me today, are they, guys? All right. So if you want to tell me, um, Oh, sorry, we're already past that. Let's go on to this other song. You probably know somebody else that sings this one. Maybe even know he's blue, and sometimes he like wolves. Ooh, let's see if we know this song. It goes like this. C is for cookies, they're good enough for me. C is for cookies, they're good enough for me. Oh, no, I know all of my kids out there are yelling at me right now. Mr. Older, it doesn't start with W, it starts with C. Okay, let me try it one more time. You sing with me this time, okay? Here we go. C is for cookies, they're good enough for me. A C is for cookies, they're good enough for me. A C is for cookies, they're good enough for me. Oh, starts with C. switch to my other ukulele now. This is a song that we've been doing since the beginning of school. But it started with leaves, and then it went to snow, but now we're to rain. If you know what I'm talking about, sing along with me. I actually switched to my other ukulele. And no, these are both ukuleles that I'm playing today. The other one was my concert ukulele. This one's my tenor ukulele. It's a little bit of a different sound. Song goes like this. Now, for some mom and dad that might know, don't know why I'm singing up so high, I sing up high so the kids sing. So when I'm singing down low, they don't try and sing down low with me. So, one more time on that rain, please. Try that hum on the end together. Ready? Thanks. Let's speed it up a little bit. Ready? 
more time. Here we go, all together. the drinking gourd is i'm going to post a video it's actually of a reading rainbow it's a really good one but it talks about what the drinking gourd is if you're in my class you know if you're not in my class watch that little video and then you'll know next time one more time on that drinking gourd song this time though i'm gonna sing like a man now you keep your same voice but i'm gonna sing love are you ready here we go follow the drinking doing this other song in class too that uses the same music again on my ukulele but we might have some people here that don't know this song yet so i've got a few friends to help us learn it go find my friends they're down here on my kitchen counter all right i have one friend i'll show him here in just a second all right i have my second friend and then i have one more friend. Ooh, I got him. All my friends here. Now this guy in the middle right here, he's Mr. Johnson. This here is his cat. And this is his little house that he lives in. But this song goes like this. We'll start with Mr. Johnson. Well, old Mr. Johnson had a problem of his own. He had a yellow cat that wouldn't leave his home. His home. Well, he tried and he tried to give the cat away, but the cat came back the very next day. But the cat came back the very next day. The cat came back. They thought he was a goner, but the cat came back. He just wouldn't stay away. Oh, Mr. Johnson, man, he was tired of the cat. He kept trying to give it away, but the cat came back. I also have my other little cat here, too. I like this one. He's my bee buddy. Now, if you guys, while we're singing today, if you want to keep the beat with me, all you have to do is pop along. Now, my bee buddies are really neat because when I pounce them, they make a little bit of sound. So if you want to, you can clap right along. But well, let's try this one together today. sing the first part, but you sing the second part. I'll help you though. Now old Mr. Johnson had problems of his own. Remember Mr. Johnson? He had a yellow cat that wouldn't leave his home. Black cat. Still a cat. Well, he tried and tried to give the cat away. this part. You gonna help me with it? But the cat came back the very next day. The cat came back. They thought he was a counter, but the cat came back. He just wouldn't stay away. Alright, sing that cat part with me one more time, because you guys are gonna sing it this next time. One more time on the cat. The cat came back the very next day. Sing the first part this time. You 
you sing the second part. Ready? Here we go. Now old Mr. Johnson had problems of his own. He had a yellow cat that wanted to leave his home. When he tried and he tried to give the cat away, but the cat came back the very next day. Here we go. If you guys want to practice that song, you can sing it in those links that I posted above, and you can practice it. And if you want to sing it for mom and dad, maybe they can record you. They can post it on here, too. All right. We've been sitting for a while today, so I'm going to get up and do a little dancing. Now, for me, it's a little bit hard because I've got to do this on the screen. But for you at home, if you want to find a place that you can do this, little dance you're more than welcome to maybe in your living room maybe in your kitchen just a little bit of space for you but first we've got to figure out the difference between a hop and a jump so the song first says to do a hop now i'm going to use mr johnson here now if we're going to use a hop we have to have both feet move off the ground and we have to move somewhere else so just like bunny rabbits do we hop we hop we hop. But if it asks us to jump, we stay right where we're at, our feet leaving the ground, but we're not really moving anywhere. So make sure you know the difference between a hop and a jump. Remember, it starts with hop. We're going to do the Irish hop. Now, I'm going to get up so I can help you guys too, because it starts right away. Hop. Hop. Everybody hop. 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 Jump. 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 Everybody jump. Jump. Hopefully you're jumping with me out there. I now clap. 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 Everybody clap. Around. Ooh, on our tiptoes. Tiptoe around. Very steep. Tiptoe around. Nice. Now spin. Ooh, a spin. 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 Everybody spin. Spin along. Alright. Don't get dizzy. Wiggle. Ooh. 
Ooh, wiggle. I like this one. Wiggle, wiggle. any way you want to. Everybody wiggle. Now swim. Ooh, swim. 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 Everybody swim. Throw the ball. Ooh, woo. Woo. Throw the ball. Woo. 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 Wave your hands. Oh, up here. Wave your hands. Wave those hands. Fly around. Ooh, fly. Fly around. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Great. If you guys want to go back and do the Irish hop, you can go back and watch this little video. I also post it online so you guys can do the Irish hop too. Today I'm going to leave you off with a little new book. Now, I posted this link earlier, and it has a little bit different words than the book that I'm going to use today. But this is a really old one, and my new one, I think it's at school, but I couldn't find it in time. So I'm going to use my old ones. But if you watch that video, just remember, the words might be just a little bit different. The animals might be a little bit different. But that's okay. We can still do the same thing with let me get my right key if you guys would. All right, I'm ready. This book is called Over in the Meadow. And this book is a special kind of book because we sing the words to the book. We don't read it. So we can call these a song tale. So instead of reading the words, I'm going to sing the words. It goes like this. Over in the meadow, in the sand and the sun, lived an old mother turtle and her little turtle one. Dick said the mother, I, Dick said the one. So they played all day in the sand and the sun. Now your part is just like those little turtles' part was. He said, I, Dick said the one. I, Dick said the one. So if you would sing that part with Let's try this again. Over in the meadow, in the sand and the sun, lived an old mother turtle and her little turtle one. Dig, said the mother, I dig, said the one. So they digged and they played in the sand and the sun. Ooh, now we have some fish, don't we? Over in the meadow where the stream runs blue, Lived an old mother fish and her little fish too. Swim, said the mother, we swim, said the two. So they swam all day where the ocean waters blew. Let's go see what the next one says. Ooh, we have some birds, don't we? Over in the meadow in a hole in a tree Lived an old mother bird and her little birdies three. Sing, said the mother. So they sang and they played in the hole in the tree. Ooh, some people think these are beavers, but they're actually a muskrat. Over in the meadow, in the reeds and by the shore, lived an old mother muskrat and her little muskrats four. Dive, said the mother. We dive, said the four. So they dive and they swim in the reeds by the shore. Thanks. Let's see what this next one is. Over in the meadow in a snug beehive lived an old mother bee and her little bees five. Buzz, said the mother. We buzz, said the five. So they buzz all day in their old beehive. Over in the meadow, in a nest built of sticks, lived an old mother crow and her little crow six. Caw, said the mother, we caw, said the six. So they cawed all day in their nest built of sticks. 
Ooh, we have crickets this time. Over in the meadow where the grass is so even lived an old mother cricket and her little cricket seven. Chirp, said the mother, we chirp, said the seven. So they chirped all day in the grass soft and even. Over in the meadow by an old mossy gate lived an old mother lizard and her little lizards ate. Bask, said the mother, we bask, said the eight. So they basked all day by the old mossy gate. Now, bask, that's a weird word, but that means to sort of like sit out in the sun and soak up all of those sun rays. Oh, here we go. Over in the meadow where the pools are nice and even lived a green mother frog and her little froggies nine. Croak, said the mother, we croak, said the nine. So they croaked all day where the quiet pool shines. Oh, we're at number 10. Now, in the video, I know that this one talks about spiders, but this one's for fireflies. Over in the meadow in a soft, shady glen lived an old mother firefly and her little fireflies tin. Shine, said the mother, we shine, said the tin. So they shine like the stars in their shiny little glen. Nice singing with you guys. This one's called Over in the Meadow. And you can watch it with that video, but if you watch the video, remember, some of the animals might be a little bit different. But remember your part. Every time it had a number, we said, We dig, said the mother. We dig, said the one. Or the bees were five. They said, we buzz, said the mother. We buzz, said the five. So make sure you're singing your part right along with us. Today I want to finish with a little bit of a book called Say Something. Now this doesn't have anything to do with music, but this is just a nice little book to read. Say Something. Let's see if I can read it right along with you. The world needs your voice. Mine? Yes, yours. Go ahead. It doesn't need to be perfect, as long as it's from your heart. Huh. You don't have to be loud. Powerful words can be endless. You could say something in so many ways, with words, with actions, with creativity. If you see someone lonely, say something by just being there for them. Nice, they're making friends, aren't they? If you see an empty canvas, say something with your brush. Now's a great time to do some painting and some art projects. It's a lot of fun. If you see an empty lot, say something by planting a seed and watching it bloom. If you plant flowers now, they're going to come up here very very soon. So watch out for all of those tulips and all of those nice Easter flowers that will be coming. If you see someone being hurt, say something by being brave. Hey, stop. It's nice when we can help a friend. If you see something beautiful, say something with a poem. If you have a brilliant idea, say something with confidence. Yo, Rika! You want to show the world who you are? Say something with your style. Ooh, I know there's some stylish dressers in my classes. I've seen you guys before. If you are angry, say something to help people understand. You made me feel invisible and that really hurt. I'm sorry. If you see an injustice, say something peacefully. No more peace or hurt or no more hurting people. We want inspires others to do the same. Sometimes you'll say something and no one will be listening. But keep saying it. What's in your heart? And you will find someone who listens. Keep saying it and you may be surprised to find that the whole world is listening. If you are grateful for being alive, quietly say something to the stars to the universe. Some people find it easier to say something to others, but everyone 
has something to say. So Bert even singing, he has something to say too. So when you're ready, say something. Nice. Well, I had such a great time with you guys today. I'm glad that I could do this with you. I wish that I could see you in person, but we'll get together soon enough again. We're right at about 40 minutes. That's usually my music time for the week. I plan on getting back and maybe doing something else on Friday. We were a little bit longer today because I had to do some introduction stuff. Hopefully we'll get down to just about 30 minutes. But for next time, I need you guys to do something for me. I have a little Easter egg here, but I put something in it. Ooh, now I made it a shaker, don't I? So all you have to do is find something to put in your shaker. Now, I put peanuts in mind because that's what I had and I like to eat peanuts too. Mm. But you can put rice, you can put beans, you can put whatever as long as you can get a little egg and make that shaking noise with it. We'll use it for next time. Thank you for having me today. Thank you for allowing me to come into your home and into wherever you're at and share music with you. We'll see you next time.